Carter and welcome to Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey. I'm your host, Ashley Audette, coming to you for the first episode of 2018 from the rinks at Shelton. Today we are meeting a full season 18 and under teams from Watertown and Wallingford and someone's new year is going to get off to a great start when we announce the winner of our December Photo of the Month contest at the end of this episode. Now let's start the new year off right with these midgets. Do you have any New Year's resolutions for 2018? Yeah, definitely, because, you know, senior in high school, just to get myself into college and get all of that going. Hockey-wise, get a little faster, get a little stronger, just trying to get better every day. Honestly, no, because okay. New Year's is just another day to me. For the team, uh, continued improvement. We've shown a lot of improvement from the beginning where we got off to a really rough start. What made you decide to play on a full season team this year? Uh, well, I don't got a team at my high school, and I felt like playing for Coach Bob's the best thing to do. I don't have a high school team where I live and split season is kind of boring. What is so special about this full team, uh, this full season team that you have here? This gives a lot of the players, uh, actually players who don't have a high school program at their school, an opportunity to keep playing at this level. It enables them to keep their, um, their, their hockey dreams alive. The cold is here to stay and we want to see how Connecticut hockey families are enjoying hockey right in their own backyard. Visit our website to tell us about your backyard rink for our 2018 Backyard Rink Showcase. Your photos will be featured on our website, Facebook, and in a future episode of Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey. What is next for you after this team? Uh, hopefully I'll be playing up at Plymouth State University in New Hampshire. College. Hopefully playing prep school hockey next year. As a coach, what are you really hoping to improve upon for 2018? Uh, right now, we've had uh, we've had some struggles early. We usually do because of the uh, the way that just the nature of uh, of midget hockey. Uh, but after I'd say Thanksgiving, we've really come around. Uh, the, uh, keep the teamwork up. That's the biggest thing. Realize that um, none of us are as good as all of us, and we keep. Uh, we keep driving that uh, every game, every practice, and, uh, and and it's been successful. So hope to keep it that way. Patience. <laughs> um, again, with a with a young group, I've had a veteran team basically for the past couple of years. So um, you know th things were easier in the fact that they knew what to expect from me. I knew what to expect from them. This year's it's a whole new cast. Uh, I think we only have just a couple of just a few returning players, and I. I've had to learn patience and continue to learn patience because it, it is a big learning curve. This shot of the week is brought to you by Hamden Hall Country Day School. For students in preschool through grade 12, visit hamdenhall.org to learn more about their coffee and campus tours. What are you looking forward to most in 2018? Um, the Bruins winning the cup. Maybe I'll score a couple more goals, who knows. Kind of seeing the transition in life from you know living at home and then living in a school and that kind of aspect of life. Our February is a tournament in Troy, and then we have league, league playoffs, and then we have a postseason tournament. And if we can do that, play well, I, I'd be satisfied with that, That'd be, that would be good. At midnight on New Year's Eve, are you gonna be uh, giving anyone a New Year's Eve smooch? Definitely Coach Bob. My girlfriend, and if it was anyone else, I'd probably die. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully. From the looks of it, these players have a lot of great hockey ahead of them as they head into the new year. And congratulations to the winner of our December Photo of the Month contest, sponsored by the Hoffman Auto Group, Phil with his photo of Might Sam scoring Bobby Orr style. Thanks for watching and joining us in 2018, because you just gotta love Connecticut hockey.